during the 19... Uh, 90s, 97 in particular, and 98, there was UFO flaps. And uh, at the beginning of this UFO activity, I only had a 35mm still camera. And um, I took these photos with um, without a particular uh, strong zoom. One evening, uh, when the overnight sky was cloudy, and uh, there was UFO activity underneath the cloud, like lots of discs in groups and formations. And uh, I dug into the emulsion of the colour print film to get these images, because I was shooting in pitch black uh, at uh, one thirtieth of a second on 400 ISO colour print film, uh, trying not to get any motion blur and uh, it was extremely difficult to get these images out of the emulsion of the film. I had to uh, find and develop a technique that nobody at this point in time in the in the early ni mid 90s that uh, had been doing it with UFO using fractal zooming and uh, false color enhancing to adjust the uh, existing data within the photo to get uh, these images. It's a disk with just the illumination was observed and the texture on the surface of the disk shows up like these streaks. Uh, I only saw these against the overnight uh, overcast sky and uh, you'll see in some of them how they stand out against the overcast cloud. I only saw the bright lights. These were a group of three objects that were lo very low over town, street, just above street lights. And um, I had a diffraction grating over the camera lens to try and get a spectrum. And this is how they turned out with the colours actually on the um, aura that was around, or the uh, ionisation around the objects. The spectrum was way out of shot. And this is a um, black object against the cloudy sky and just the illumination was seen but the shape of the object can be seen. Some of them are quite pixelized because they're super zoomed, fractal zoomed. This was a way, an object way out in space that was just a, an orangey color, reddy orange color and it looked like a planet. This is an uh, object that only saw the light, but you can see the stream of ionization behind the object. This is a black object against the cloud sky and only the illumination at the left-hand side was noticed. So some of them were, looked to be disc and uh, traveling quite, uh, quite brazen underneath the cloud right over the city, over Grafton City. This one was heading towards uh, the south, moving right with the trail of energy behind it. The ionization can be seen in these ones as well. Uh, a group of, ob of UFOs. This was obviously looked like a disc with the bright illumination in the front and uh, the pixelization is pretty bad in that one but it does show some sort of form like in these. The form or shape cannot be seen but this is just a very very dim illumination the way that it's uh, I was able to get something out of the emulsion of the film. It seemed to have a, um, a round circular area below the center of the disc on this particular one. Zoomed right in. It, um, <laughs> just to, to see any features on the disc and this is what came out. This is an interesting one. The illumination at the front, only thing that was seen and uh, zooming right in is that an observation window for the alien's face at the bottom uh, who knows <laughs> this is just the way it came out looking for features not actually altering anything as such just manipulating the data that's existing in the actual photo a close look at it maybe it's an observation window and this is the face of an alien it's a bit hard to tell Not too sure about that one. 
This was a group of UFOs coming and the blue in the background is the cloud, the overcast cloud and there's three objects in this. That's the closest one and um, just the illumination of that bright light was seen and the object shape. This is um, like a, a blue uh, a blue haze it was like uh, could have been where the pilot was sitting and this is like a bear shaped um, formation below that interesting way it came out that's like a observation dome and uh, there's quite possibly an alien in there we'll just have a look at it that's what it came out like looks like it's got a instrument above its or well, the right hand side looking at it above its eye there and uh, just cleaned up a little to see what uh, I can see in it to still is that the face of an alien the head of an alien closer look just to paint it in the eyes a bit of the shape that's seen just to out to the west of Grafton this particular night I saw these two bright objects slowly moving towards the south, low in the horizon. I first thought that these were the only two, but there's a third, more dimly lit uh, object at the bottom making a triangle formation. I didn't realise that there was three in this formation until I uh, saw a star go in between the formation as this triangle formation was moving to the south. There were a lot of what I call UFO probes around at this particular time, not so much a craft with uh, probably occupants in it because they were so small and they were very brightly illuminated like a bright as Venus sometimes, a very silver white light. sometimes very low altitude and uh, they were so low that you'd lose sight of them through the trees which you don't do with satellites because of the extensive height of uh, satellites the altitude is much higher than what these objects were I followed them until they faded out and then a fourth object appeared coming from the same direction low on the altitude as, as well on the low on the horizon so there was a bit of activity west of Grafton on this particular night. <laughs> 